Hey team, what's up family? I got some really important news for you today. We've been asking for your opinions but we've been dropping a lot of videos and you guys have answered. And one of the most common things that you guys have said is more. That means more videos. We're going to be looking to upload four days a week. That's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you guys are going to have to stay tuned for more videos. And with all that being said, AT! Today's episode, we're going to be having a team story time. So I'm a big time preacher about finding what is important to you in life. Finding what's important to you in life is what gives you drive, gives you motivation, gives you a sense of purpose that lets you keep going. And so in today's video, I want to talk about what that secret is. So in today's video, I want to talk about what that secret is. What is the secret? Or at least what that secret is to me. And so for me, that secret is my family. Starting with this little beauty right here. So when I was younger, I had Aurora, and for a while it was just me and her. I didn't think that I would really find someone that would accept the both of us and that is until I met Autumn. The funniest thing about me and Autumn being together is not just the fact that we have A names and that we've created a whole family of just A names. The craziest thing about me and Autumn is that we've known each other since we were three years old. So Autumn and I started our journey when we were in preschool together. We were three years old at a place called Nanny's Nursery where we had fun and we played and we got to know each other. And yes, that picture is real. We did take a group photo sitting right next to each other. It's funny you don't remember much at three years old. My mom took me from that preschool into kindergarten, and Autumn stayed there for her kindergarten year. And then from there, we went on to separate schools and didn't see each other for quite some time. It's so funny to think about how small the world is that we come back together in high school. In high school, we were best friends, and at times, maybe a little more than that. But really, we didn't have any intentions of going to the places that we do today. And at the time, we had no idea that we were together in preschool, playing around and having a good time. And speaking of high school, you know what, you know what, let me tell you about high school. It just so happens that I have the yearbook from the year that we were seniors and the year that we graduated. Oh man, high school. Don't we miss it all. <gasps> oh. You're clinically dumb. There is no cure for what you have. Oh my God. Anyway, so in high school you had all different kinds of people. You had your artists, you have your jocks, you had the, um, Tennis club? And then finally, you had people eating meat. I guess? Oh, actually, <laughs> now that I think about it, I actually was one of those jocks uh, right over here. And that was me, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Talk about a lack of hair. And that was my Audi. Man, do times change. I guess the moral of the story is everything in life is about timing. Autumn and I were in each other's lives in and out since we were three years old and at no point until we had graduated and stopped talking and randomly met at a concert did those things trying to click for us. And the craziest thing is when we met at that concert, we were both wearing this flannel. It was a weekend concert. We had no idea that we were going to be there together. And personally, I don't go to concerts very often, so this is a really rare occasion for me. And after I had Aurora, it was just her and I for a while, and I didn't think that I would ever find someone who would accept both me and her. And then, randomly, Autumn walks back into my life at this concert, which I don't normally go to concerts, and there she is. 
the perfect person for me. So we continue to date after that concert for three years up into this day. And even though we aren't married, we are living together and we do have two other beautiful girls together. I think the purest thing about our love is that we never forced anything. We kind of went as friends for a while and when that didn't work, we stopped talking and then we started talking again. I guess the moral of this story is that timing is everything. Timing is the most important element in life and it doesn't work to your advantage all the time. I feel like if me and Autumn would have tried to start a relationship back in high school, things would have gone drastically different. I guess I'm blessed that I didn't try to do that and I waited until I grew up and matured and then things started to go much more smoothly. I find it weird that people are always looking for the perfect relationship and always looking for the perfect time and in reality the perfect anything is it just happens. There is no perfect time, there is no perfect relationship, there is no perfect person. It's that you feel yourself out, you get to know yourself and you meet someone and you take it slow and you let things happen how they're supposed to happen. The whole idea of forcing a relationship to be happy or forcing a relationship to show people that you have something that you want is, I think, the problem in today's society. Finding that secret, you know, the one I talked about earlier, is really about focusing on yourself and perfecting yourself as a person. And only then, when you're internally sound, can you improve your external environment. When I graduate, I fully intend on giving Autumn something really special. But like I said before, life is about timing and I'm more than willing to wait for something special and for the right moment, the perfect thing, the perfect ring, the perfect wedding, than I am to force it now just to do it. I'm so excited to have told you guys this story because I want it to be inspiring. I want it to be something that you look to when you're having a bad day or you look to when you need some advice or you look to just to be entertained. I know this is a different type of thing that we've never really done on this channel before and I kind of wanted to try it out and see how story time does and maybe we'll do a couple more story time. So hopefully you enjoyed this video guys. Don't forget to leave a like down below. Give a big thumbs up so I know that you want to see more of this stuff and consider subscribing because we have a ton of of content for you, family friendly channels, vlogs, pranks, challenges, etc. So hit that subscribe button and join the community that we're building. And with all that being said, guys, 18 miles.